Ariel Helwani in New York City getting set for UFC Brooklyn alongside Corey Sandhagen who meets Mario Bautista this Saturday at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Corey, initially we were supposed to fight John Lineker. We go from John Lineker to Mario Bautista just a few days ago. Lineker is a big name. Obviously, Batista not as well known in UFC circles, making his debut. When you found out about the switch, what was your reaction? Uh, I mean, it sucked. Uh, <laughs> I really wanted that top seed against Lineker. Um, but also, at the same time, I saw the Lineker fight as something that I was kind of like given, like very luckily, um, jumping up that high in my third UFC fight. So to have that taken away from me, it wasn't that bad. Um, I kind of feel a little bit more in my comfort zone fighting uh, Mario anyway, so uh, it's, it's, just another, it's just another fight to me. It's just a normal fight uh, where Lineker had a little bit more eyes on me, a little bit more lights. Um, but yeah, a fight's a fight. I, I think having the fight is better than losing. So, Was the air sort of let out of your balloon there for a second? Like, Did you have to then get back up? for the opportunity for the fight. End of the day, it is a big card, ESPN, all that stuff and more, but as you mentioned, the names are different. So did you have a moment where you were kind of grieving and then had to sort of convince yourself, like, this is still a big opportunity? Um, I mean, I'd be lying if, if, I, if I said that that wasn't true. Um, all of the ESPN and, and everything that's going on is definitely very huge. Uh, fighting Mario, though, it, it just feels like another fight to me. You know, like I, I'm still going to go out and perform exactly how I, I want to and, and how I know that I can. Um, and all of my energy and all of my focus and all of my training camps and, and with all of this going on, everything, the bright lights, um, everything is just on how am I going to perform that night. That's all that it's about for me. Prior to getting this fight against Mario, had you ever heard of him? Um, I feel like maybe I heard the name Batista before. I don't know if it was him or if that's just a common name or not. But uh, that kind of stuck out to me when the when kind of the names were given to me. Um, but no, I hadn't heard from him. Uh, I know uh, some guys that train at MMA Lab before uh, kind of talked about their things and blah blah blah. But really, there's not a lot of tape on them, so uh, all I can really do is go out and fight them. How however however that needs to be that night. Now this is our first time speaking in person. Um, and I hope you take this as a compliment. You don't look like a typical fighter. Your build, your demeanor, even the way you dress. By the way, I love a good flannel shirt, so props on that. Thank you. Do you get that a lot? Like when you tell people, do they not believe you initially when you say what you do for a living? Oh yeah, dude, all the time. Especially because I don't speak loudly. Um, I don't have a big personality. Uh, there's, I mean, I mean, as far as personality goes, I would say the thing that I'm very good at is being honest. You know, I'm being, I'm, I'm very honest with myself and I'm very honest with other people. Um, but yeah, man, I get that all the time. Like, I don't, I'm not big. Like, my biceps are very small uh, <laughs> compared to everyone else in this room. Uh, a lot of people who try to test you. <laughs> no. Like, oh, this guy's a UFC fighter. I could take this guy. Uh, they mean, know by now at the gym. I mean, at the gym, they kind of know when people stop in here and now. Uh, but I mean, when you put gloves on, it's 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 different, you know. Like I, I'm not a I'm not a strong, big athlete, but I'm very very fast. And I'm athletic in my own ways, so yeah. Uh, one of the big stories going into this fight is the future of the flyweights. I know it's not your division, but if you had to say, keep them or time to get rid of them. I love the flyweight division. Um, I'm pretty bummed that Demetrius left. He was one of my favorite fighters ever. Um, but yeah, I, I love that division. I really appreciate all of the skill and the, and the technical aspects of that division, uh, more so than I do in the, in the heavier weight classes. Um, but they're all different, you know, uh, comparing, uh, what's the saying, oranges to apples or whatever? Apples to oranges. Apples to oranges, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, I love that division. I would really like to see it stick around. I'm sure you have your eye somewhat on the main event, TJ Dillashaw champion, uh, coming down to 125, your pick. Uh, I got TJ winning. Um, I used to train with TJ. He's a buddy of mine. I know how hard he works. And I also know that like he's he's no bluff. Not that I'm saying Suhudo isn't, but um, I've trained with a lot of guys where it's like, oh, man, that guy fights at that level of, uh, of, of, of uh, uh, in the UFC. And then... But TJ is not like that. TJ is extremely talented and like uh, he's he's world class for sure. I think I speak for everyone. We were all very much looking forward to that fight against John Lineker. I'm assuming you want that fight in the future once he heals up. Oh yeah, of course. Uh, really, anyone though. You know, like I said, I'm 26 years old. I'm my. This is going to be my third fight in the UFC. Um, I'm looking to gain a lot of ring time, a lot of experience. Uh, 
maybe make the the case for my paychecks a little bit more. So I mean, the, the, this doesn't bother me. You know, even if they give me someone top 15, top 10 next, like the belts and all the rematches and all the double belts and people fighting wherever, like. It, it, it's almost opportunistic now when you get a title shot, so uh, you kind of have to be in the right place at the right time. So I'm not going to stress about that. Whoever they want to give me, sure. But yeah, Lineker would be awesome. I trained very hard for him. I went through a lot of stress of having to deal with all of that mental aspect of fighting such a hard hitter. So. Um, it's going to prepare me later when I do have to fight him. Uh, but yeah, I, I hope his rib heals quick and we can maybe fight in May. Um, but yeah, it's kind of up to the UFC. I'm okay with whatever right now. Appreciate the time. Good luck on Saturday. Yeah, thanks, Ariel.